We need the graphics. We didn't work on them. No. The build is not very good to this. We did, at least he just come in flying in in boxes. We didn't miss the not the tool man. JT and Marcus, your friends from WWE War, back here again for another WWE WrestleMania season tier maker list. Marcus, the last one was Gangbusters. Everyone loved that thing. We did rewatchability. Uh, did you enjoy doing that? Are you excited to do another one? I I enjoy doing it. I'm looking forward to uh, getting into the road to WrestleMania with you. Uh, create a lot of good conversation with our last uh, tier maker that we partnered up for. So hopefully we do the same with uh, the road to WrestleMania. Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, it kind of ties into our, our program that we do uh, here on YouTube as well as on audio on Podbean. WWE War, where we break down every dirty pay-per-view ever in a seasonal format through a bunch of categories. One of those categories was rewatchability, right? So that was our tier maker last time, uh, where we did the most rewatchable manias. And another category on that show was build, right? We factor all the build up to all these pay-per-views. And that's what we're going to do tonight on the road to WrestleMania tier maker. So we're going to do all 40 WrestleManias, because that's what we do. And uh, our, our criteria is pretty simple. It's anything that built toward a match at a given WrestleMania up until the day of WrestleMania. We are not going to factor in payoff, fallout, how the show went. We don't care. If it bombed, whatever. We're only going to factor in the build. And on the flip side, if something had a shitty build, but it delivered like a crazy gangbusters WrestleMania, we're not going to factor that in either. We don't really have a time frame on the build. Like if it, you know, you get something like the Mega Powers, right, that built for a year plus, we're going to factor that in. But I think our one thing that we kind of agreed on is that it has to have like tangibly been building obviously toward a feud around mania season. So it can't be something that happened 18 months before randomly. And then they kind of bring them back together. Um, so I think that to me, like that doesn't count. So I think it's just going to be something that was obviously being built for a WrestleMania feud. We'll not going to break down every match of every card, obviously, but we'll kind of get a vibe of each card. The more matches with bill, the better, right? Assuming it's solid build and we'll kind of, also have to like dabble a little bit into vibes and feelings, right? Like how did you feel going into that media personally? I think that'll play a big role in this as well. So, and then for the more modern ones from say, shit, it's probably more modern than not modern at this point, but I'd, I'd say since what 99, 2000 on, we can kind of factor in maybe the internet zeitgeist as well around it. Like, was there a lot of excitement sure, going to the show? Was there a lot of complaints <laughs> depending on where you were blog of doom? Uh, you know, if you're in certain places, right? A lot of complaints about it. So I think we'll be factoring that into all this as well. A lot of vibes. Right. Any, uh, they're going to play a big role. I any think. final thoughts um, before we pull up the tier, tier maker? Um, I think vibes. I think it's going to be interesting because there's some WrestleManias, um, as you and Chad have talked about, on Wrestling Warzone uh, with WrestleMania 13 and the build up to that. Uh, they really turned the ship around um, and set a direction like two or three weeks away from WrestleMania. Uh, and usually you think of the road to WrestleMania, you think of six, nine, 12 week build. Um, but there's going to be some cases where that road is more like an expressway um, and they're going to be zooming. So uh, let's get into it. OK, All right. we need like uh, so nothing we didn't build. Well, we need like that. The music they play for like the cage lowering or when the guys are walking backstage for a big. <laughs> so we bring up the tier list. All right. So here's how we're going to break this down. We're going to have two worst of all time builds uh, and then nine of each in these five categories. Trash, which is you can, yeah, pretty bad. Meh. Replacement level, as we like to talk about war a lot. To me, that's just like a perfectly average WrestleMania build. You're probably not super excited, but you're not down on it. And then we have good. Then we have great. And then we're going to do three top ones, two almost goats, and then the all time best. And yes, that adds up to 40. We are going to rank up until recording date that we're doing this, March 11th. Uh, we're going to rank the WrestleMania 40 build. So it may not be fair because there's still like three weeks left to build, but we're going to kind of go with what we got so far. All right. So we will uh, be randomly selecting here, Marcus. So why don't we go ahead and get started? And I'm going to throw out WrestleMania 23. Ooh, okay. Um, we love Bobby. We love Bobby, you, Bobby, Bobby. Bobby. Uh, <laughs> um, I guess pretty well built. Um, if we're just gonna place it somewhere, I love I'm you, Bobby. Uh, I'm gonna go with 
great. Yeah, so um, throw your gut, and then we'll discuss. Your gut's great. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw out, I'll throw out great. Yeah. All right. So yeah. let's think about um, it. We, uh, and I swear, we got we got Taker fans. winning the Rumble, his first Royal Rumble, yeah. uh, challenging Batista. We have the tag match as well at No Way Out uh, with all the champions and challengers. Uh, we got Sean. Uh, getting the one-on-one shot versus Cena. And then I think the other big match to factor in is Battle of the Billionaires, uh, which yeah. I think was pretty well built. Yeah, I'd say it's it's extremely well built. Um, I think the negative to it, I guess, is, I, I don't know, does the Trump stuff add or tickle? <laughs> I guess it adds to the legacy you know. of him botching stuff. And I guess you could say one downside to that match is all the changes they underwent. Like, at the end of the day, was Umaga and Bobby Lashley like really the best choice for those guys uh, to have? The, especially Umaga. I love Umaga, and he's on the run of a lifetime. But this is like a mainstream situation, and it's kind of a reductory character wrestling character. You know what I mean? Like, you, like you almost picture like a JBL or someone like right would have been like more in line with like Trump. Um, but the build itself was exciting. Obviously, it, it gets does a massive number. Um, Sean Cena, I guess, ends up being built pretty well. I mean, it's kind of a backdoor idea because triple h gets hurt right it's not really the goal mm. um does it hurt at all to you that they go take or sean as the final two and it's like a a big battle it's a war sean is like heartbroken to lose in his um in his hometown and then he gets a title shot anyway <laughs> like there have been like uh, more like <laughs> less stakes to that you know what i mean like oh it felt like such a loss at the rumble and then he ends up fighting Cena anyway for the title. Yeah, I hate that. Um, but I, I guess just the circumstances, you definitely like Edge was hurt and he's a money in the bank. I guess they could have pulled Orton. Um, I feel like there might have been suspension issues there again or something with Orton. Um, so I felt like Sean was just kind of the last man standing uh, and next man up uh, for that situation. So um, I don't love it, but. It, it doesn't bother me enough to really ding it. So I feel good putting it in great for now. Yeah. All right. The other thing you could argue to see, this feels like a card of missed opportunities to me. Like it was also supposed to be the Hogan versus like big show thing or whatever. And we end up with Kane right. versus great Ali um, <laughs> in the, in the body slam moment. I don't know. Like, like a little stuff like that kind of, and again, it ends up being a great show. Like Taker Batista, you can even argue this is where you do Taker taker cena like is this the time to have done it you know what i mean and mm. no i don't want to lose taker batista because it's awesome but could that have been a path too um could so. have been but then it's probably for the best because cena probably beats undertaker there yeah yeah true true all right i'm, I'm okay putting it at the back end of great for now but i i, I yeah. can see it being more like a good by the time we're done with this thing yeah i think so all right let's do 33 all right um, uh, this is during the, I think, pretty successful brand split for WWE, like the 2016, 17, 18 time period. I really enjoy that. Um, not enough to go back and watch uh, three hours worth of Raws uh, <laughs> for all the build, but I think the SmackDowns are really good during the time. Um, and I remember pretty much everything being built up pretty well. You got the um, the, the Festival of Friendship with Jericho and uh, Ke Kevin Owens. You've got the AJ and Shane stuff, which is pretty well built. Uh, you've got Goldberg and Lesnar, which have been uh, built up well, going back to Survivor Series, integrating the video game. Um, we got Taker and Roman, a little iffy there. Um, and then Orton and Bray had been built up really well. I think this is a show that benefits from the style that we're doing here by ignoring the, the way things fall out, right? Um, the card structure. Because Jericho Owens is it being like, okay. Uh, the one thing you lose is the Hardys, right? Because that's an all-time moment, but that that wasn't built at all. Uh, I guess they teased a mystery team, but uh, it wasn't like part of any build. I mean, do you, does it hurt you to have the Goldberg-Owens stuff? Like you think Owens-Jericho for the world title would have meant more? And just do Goldberg Brock as like a grudge match. Because that was definitely a point of contention at the time that Owens kind of got host uh, and, and Goldberg beat him for the belt. You know, and, and the Goldberg Brock, even the bill's like, okay. But again, a lot of folks were not thrilled with Survivor Series and the way that went down. So I, I think there yeah. is some up and down here. Um, Take a Roman was kind of, like you said, a little milk toast. Uh, Cena Miz was awesome, right? So we got that. And that's, that's starting like September. 
Uh, that was fantastically built. Yeah. Um, was having a match, like that's kind of weird. Uh, given hit where he was in 2016, you know, we talk about his big 2016. So I don't know. This feels like there's some great stuff to it, but it, it probably good just because, again, it's probably good. Yeah. Take a reins. Owens losing the title. Some of the Goldberg Brock builds. AJ Shane at the time, you know, he didn't know it was going to be good. So I would actually count that as a negative. Um, I thought the build was really good. I liked it. Yeah, but to me, it was more like but, you wanted a great classic mania match from AJ, like an opportunity, and it didn't feel mm -hmm. like it was going to be one. And again, you got to kind of blank right. out that ended up being a good match. Going into it, it was kind of like, oh, like we're using this on AJ for mania, save it for something else, you know? Sure. So I think good. I think good's fine. I think top of good is where it's going to price settle. Yeah, I, I don't see it moving. We got to be tough either. graders, Mark, because look at all these categories. We got to fill. We got a lot to fill here. We got <laughs> right. We got to be strict on some of this. Um, all right, let's do. Uh, uh, let's do eight. I think eight's an interesting okay. one. All right, so we got uh, we got the pitchers. That's part of the build. Um, we got bogus. Uh, possibly the greatest uh, press conference moment in WWE history. Oh, um, we got Flair winning the Rumble to become the world champion. Uh, we get Brett dropping the title to Mountie, Piper winning it at Rumble and setting up, uh, you know, the the Hart Dungeon, you know, legacy match between Piper and Hart. Uh, and then we got the Jake and Undertaker stuff, and that's pretty good. I would yep. say those are the major. Uh, matches that all get built up and again not considering that all of them deliver um i think it's pretty good stuff and also i mean the retirement you know hogan's last match yeah. uh they they heavily speculate which it is for a year um so i think this is the top of the grade for me like you got hogan yeah Sid, i think so which, yeah the only negative you lose is hogan flair but honestly there was no real build to hogan flair besides like the legacy of Hogan Flair, but in WDF, it right. all happened on a house show, you know, Flair called him Thunderlips, but he went right into Piper. So yeah, we lost it, but I, I don't remember being like terribly upset by it because Savage Flair build ended up being so good. And I think it ended up being more emotional and raw than anything that Hogan and Flair could have done. They just would have fought over who's yeah. the greatest, right? It would have been Flair just calling him out a bunch. Uh, yeah. get the Hogan retirement stuff. He does a sit down with Vince on the March to WrestleMania uh, with all the big cardboard cutouts in the back. Taker Jake had a great build starting a science main event. Uh, and well, really, they had been aligned since like the fall. And then Taker finally has enough. He blocks Savage from using the chair at science main event. Then you get Jake lock at his hand in the casket, DDT and Paul Bearer. Um, Hogan said, You mentioned the press conference to turn on science main event, destroying the barbershop. Uh, you know, Piper Brett, you mentioned even Disastrous Money Inc. It's like Jimmy Hart screws the disasters because they can't right. get the job done and Money Inc. win the tag belts and the disasters turn on Jimmy. Like, so that was pretty well built. I mean, besides that eight man and like Owen Skinner, even Sean Tito, they eliminate each other in the Rumble. I, I don't think they use that directly in the feud. They kind of put it together, but it is Sean building his way up as a, as a heel. Bobby teasing the reveal of the pictures. Uh, Indiana saver Bobby. Uh, did they tease Luger? I forget. No, I don't think no, so. That's a surprise, a surprise. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's the top of the great right now for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's one we talked about so far. I remember being super hyped. I can, I remember, and I know I'm a kid and it's nostalgic, whatever. I remember being a little league practice that afternoon. Could not get to my cousin's house fast enough to get there for this WrestleMania. I was so pumped up for this WrestleMania. Like it was also the first one I was watching live, but I just remember being super excited for the matches and they're lucky we're not counting the card because they did cut, cut out Bulldog and Berserker, which I was very excited about. That's a kid. Shame. Sons of bitches. All right, let's do uh let's do 29. Uh, our first one, I think that's probably going to go into the meh. Um, we got twice in a lifetime. Um, the Triple H Brock stuff, I don't think is it's not good. I mean, it's so bad. They have to have Lesnar beat <laughs> Undertaker the next year. Um, I think they just missed a lot of softballs in this one. Like even Taker Punk, the build was like remember yeah, Punk had the urn and everything, and like people were kind of not liking that where he mocked Paul Bearer after he passed yeah. away. Like that was kind of 
Yeah, going into that match. And it was another one, too. Like, I don't think we realized how great it was going to be going in. It felt like a waste of punk, waste of the shield in my mind. Um, they mm-hmm. didn't have the hot stuff that they had going into that. Um, waste of Orton. Yeah. So. yeah, a weird spot for Orton. The, uh, Del Rio swagger was kind of whatever. The money in the bank cash in for Ziggler is right there. And they yeah. <laughs> they wait till the next night. Hell no against Ziggler and Big E. Like, wasn't really much yeah. to speak of either. So, um, honestly, one of the best things they built was Miz with the figure four. That's the pre-show. Um, the pre-show. And I guess Jericho Fandango back. with, you know, saying But again, that felt like a waste of Jericho. You know what I mean? Like, I know Fandango was over, I guess, but I don't know. Just, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm. This is meh. And I think it's borderline trash, honestly. Um, yeah and i'm trying to separate my feelings right because it was the first tailgate first ptb get together like there's a lot of personal um love in that show for me but and the excitement to get to that point but i'm gonna disassociate all that from it and i think the best built match is probably ryback versus uh mark henry yeah yeah that's just like classic like bench press challenge and stuff like that (laughs) yeah all right let's do 12 um, I mean, it's really on the back of, of Brett and Sean, the Iron Man match. Um, you know, the six man's got, got some build into it. They weave in some stories. Um, weird pivot with the, from razor and gold dust to Piper and gold dust. But even that's um, built pretty well. It ended up being okay. Yeah. Um, um I, I like the Vader yoga. Like Ticker diesel too. Ticker yeah, diesel. Diesel is really that's good. That's built well. I, I like the opener. I thought that build was pretty good. The six man. I, I thought Yoko and Vader, bro, you know, broke up at the Rumble with Cornette and Yoko teasing a squash. Cornette he squashes a balloon <laughs> dummy or whatever um, to show that he's going to get five minutes. Even Austin Vega, they were in the tag tournament and they split up and they fight here. Uh, Piper Goldust, like you said, Warrior. I mean, that was really well built. They started teasing him before the Rumble that he was coming back at Mania. And, this, um, yeah, this kind of feels like our first replacement level. Like we got like a little bit of everything, and everything's know, done okay. Yeah, like we yeah. got a surprise that's teased. We've got a six man that's like the stories are, are interwoven. We got Savio and Austin as like a a mid card feud. Um, we got a good upper mid card and a good main event build. I I feel like it's either going to be fringe good or repro- or uh, replacement level. Like I think it's good for me. Level. I think it's like fringe good for me because okay. it's only six matches and they're all have build. There's no throwaway. And they're all get weeks of build. It's not nothing's like last second. Austin Vega is the closest, probably. Um, even Huckster and Nacho Man was well built for as stupid as it ends up being. And the body down is guns, like uh, or not the guns, the uh, uh God whatever the, on the pre-show. Not, yeah, the, the tournament. That's the tournament final. So I mean, I'm probably blacking out. Like going through these week by week with Warzone and probably how boring a lot of it was. But Brent and Sean, I thought, was built well. I mean, they put a lot of time into that match. So I think it's good. And it may get bumped down, but for now, I think it's good. All right. I mean, why is 33 substantially better than it? I guess Orton Bray was built pretty good. I don't want to discount yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's where you get to the, the match volume. I think yeah. the match volume of 33 helps it. Again, just the build. We're just talking about the build, everybody, if you're dropping in. All right. Let's do uh, 18. Ooh. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, the line of demarcation, WrestleMania. Um, we got, of course, Rock and Hogan um, kind of set Not it and great. forget it. But they, Not great build. Yeah, they mess, I, I, they mess up with the, the ambulance. They mess up with the ambulance stuff. If they just yep. would have done, you know, the match announcement, it's fine. Yeah, they do the face to face, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. And then they don't they panic and they do a bunch of stupid shit after it. Yeah. Um, same with Austin and Hall. They do way this too is, much. Also, um, yeah, all the drinking stuff. Austin's dumping the beer on them. Yeah. We got Edge and Booker with the hair, the uh, shampoo endorsement. Um Jericho and Triple H with the the dog. I'm telling you, it's trash. I think it's it's trash. <laughs> this mania, the more we break it down, I, I think in your head you always think it's like, oh, one of the great manias of that era. Like war, it, it didn't do it didn't do great. And then um Aaron and I did that tier list of like 
mania vibes and mania theme and this finish at the bottom it's it's such a bland mania and honestly the build jericho triple h is abhorrent uh hogan rock is not good austin hall i think is terrible you said the shampoo the tag thing is like thrown together they do that weird switcheroo with the with the belts and you know no way out and all that stuff and then uh, you could argue trish like that may be the best built match on the card maybe uh Angle Kane is like thrown together at the last minute. Mm -hmm. RVD Regal really doesn't have much behind it. Mm -hmm. It's, I think it's trash. I, I yeah. think it's below 29 for me. Yeah. The more we talk about it feels right. I, I think it's a woke contender. <laughs> like, I don't think it's that crazy. I, I think it's an awful, the only good thing you could say is that the company was just so hot still that it didn't really matter. And Hogan rock was going to draw on its own. But to me, that makes right. it lazy. Like it's lazy, lazily put together, you know? Yeah, and I guess are we underselling the the given of Triple H completing, you know, what we'd call now his story of coming back from the quad tear, winning the Rumble, and then winning the title at WrestleMania. It it still feels like at the time it was something a lot of people really wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, it's, all right. Yeah, it's not we'll good. Put it, it feels feels right in trash. Yeah. I, I think one of the low key things that I've learned through all these tier lists we're doing for Mania and discussion is that they got really lazy with their peak year manias. Like 17, we'll talk about, but I feel like even that was, they kind of got lucky. <laughs> like, I, I don't love the builds of some of that. Well, you know, spoiler, I guess. 16, 17, 18. Like, those are the three biggest years in history other than the 80s for Mania years. And it's like, they all feel very like a miss come WrestleMania time. Like, having a path and knowing maybe because they made everything else so big and important that they had a hard time refocusing for mania, but I don't know. It's one thing I've kind of come across as we've broken these down. But. All right. Well, you mentioned 16. Do we want to talk about 16? Yeah, all right. Let's do 16. While we're, we're here. Right. Cause I think that's our first worst of all time contender. Yeah. All right. So you get the four um, way. They don't with know the what they're doing yeah. until the week before WrestleMania. Um, I think other than the triangle ladder match, um, that's not even built well. Like Edge and Christian aren't really even in that feud yet. Like it's really Dudley's Hardys and they kind of throw Edge and Christian in because they had done the tit. And it's like, they're not even, there's not even a lot of heat to that. The Dudleys were hot because they were putting the May Young through table and the women through tables and stuff. But it's like beyond that, right? There wasn't much else. Yeah. They're going to break up Edge and Christian before that. And then like do the match at mania. And then like Edge and Christian talked them out of it. So they end up, putting them in the ladder match and then they're going to break them up right afterwards. So yeah, they kind of, they kind of luck their way in. Um, if there is one saving grace of that, it's like everybody has their own weapon to bring into the, the triangle ladder match. Right. Which I guess, you know, it's okay. But, um, but even the hardcore thing kind of ends up being like a mess. It, you could argue like, Oh, they built it up with 24 seven, but it had just kind of started around that time. Um, yeah. It only started a few weeks sheet. before. Yeah. Head cheese is built well, but not that match. Um, the opener's not, yeah, it's it's down, it's it's not good. Yep. Even the Benoit angle Jericho, yeah, that that's even a mess too, right? It's like Backlund is a highlight of that build. <laughs> like um, <laughs> Pete Rose is probably the best built, well built thing, and that's not even <laughs> planned, you know, it's not even announced. All right, I'll put it, uh, you want to put it in woke for now? I think so, yeah. Okay. All right, let's go early, let's go two. Um, yeah. I don't think either of us were watching at this time. Obviously, I know you weren't. Um, I definitely wasn't either. So, I mean, Hogan Bundy is quick, but I think the build is solid. Uh, Piper T was, I thought, really well built over the course of a year. Um, Bulldog's Dream Team. They kind of started feuding in late 85, but not a ton. Savage Steel, I hate, but I'll give him points for building it. Um, Battle Royal is pretty well built. Is it? For the time. I mean, they, they announced the celebrity, the, the, the football players. I think there is, I don't know if there's a way in, but there's something that they yeah, do in yeah. like Chicago. So yeah. I think for the time, and maybe this is our first mm, replacement yeah. level. Yeah. I think it's made mad. somewhere around there. Yeah. I mean, I know they deliver with Hogan and Bundy and the Saturday night main event, uh, main event angle, but I kind well, of even Hogan like go to the doctor with the ribs. Like, I like all that. I think that's actually really well done. Um, and you get all the celebrities like they were te teasing that. Uh, but it's also a lot of like random matches that just are kind of throwaway, like building up Steamboat, building up Jake, like that kind of stuff. Right. 
And um, even like he should have probably done Savage Tito. Like Tito's just kind of, I know JYD was feuding with the Funks. Like, so that's pretty good. But Tito wasn't really involved in that. So I think, I think top of math right now probably makes sense. All right. All right. Let's go WrestleMania 11. All right. Uh, this one I definitely remember. Um, we talked about on war. They they blew off a lot of stuff either before or after this WrestleMania. Um, like Brett and Owen. Um, they kind of missed a couple of layups. Um, Sean Diesel, I would say, is a plus. LT and Bam Bam is really good. Um, the celebrities. They've actually built the celebrities yeah, very well. The and I think Brett, Brett Backlund is pretty well built, too. Um, it is. Because it really started in July the year before, like with the heel turn, back when stalks him, beats him for the belt. Um, you know, he costs he gets involved in Brett's rumble match, Brett eliminates him mm. for the rumble. So I actually think that that's pretty well built. Uh yeah, I think Brett even cost him the Intercontinental title uh, against Jeff Jarrett. Yes. On TV. Yep. Yeah. And Razor Jarrett's built well too, because Jarrett beats him with the Rumble and they feud right. leading up to that. Roadie debuts and all that. Um, Owen with the teasing that he's gonna do with Brett never you know couldn't do uh or he's gonna do he's gonna match brett and win the tag titles with like one of brett's most hated guys or whatever i i think this is actually surprisingly i i think it's at the back end good, of good. it's probably yeah. below 12 but uh i don't know yeah probably below 12 yeah we'll see for now. but I, I think it's it's a sneaky sneaky good build even sid right. sid uh debuting and like being in sean's corner like that was that was great yeah yeah all right, this should be a fun one. It, it, one we, we covered on war, so we should be quick with it. 32. I think the T, I think it's pretty good. I think the build is good. You think it's no. bad? Well, okay. Um, take or shame made no the, sense. Throw that out the uh, gate. That made no sense. It made no sense. I, um, it didn't make any sense. It was definitely no a sense. fever dream of a match. Um, but you got Triple H in control of the company, puts himself in the rumble, wins the title, and the That's one fine. versus all. Um, yeah, the ladder match is derailed because of injuries. Um, I guess you get like the triple threat uh, with Sasha and Becky and Charlotte. Did they really build that though? Or is it more like, hey, we're going to create this new title and we're going to restart the revolution? I, I don't remember. I know they like they Charlotte and it. Becky were kind of feuding a bit on TV, but yeah, and I think be um shoot um I think Sasha won a match. I feel like we knew it was headed there when we did it for War. Was it the pay per view before? I think that got set up. Yeah, maybe two pay per views uh, before. But Ambrose and oh, Brock yeah. isn't that great either. Like Brock males in the build too and 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 honestly i'm factoring in feeling right like everyone going into this mania was like this is gonna be a dumpster fire um uh, no one wanted to see hunter and reigns they all wanted ambrose we don't get that we don't get we talked about right. we don't get the four-way yeah, there's no four-way um, they don't do anything interesting um all the injuries right all the injuries didn't help either cena um bray like they're all supposed to play big roles they, everything has changed yeah i think this is trash it's yeah, back into trash. I think it's a better than eighteen. I think it's below, uh, fuck, probably above twenty nine. Yeah. All right. That feel all right to you? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do twenty six because I think this is a sneaky yeah. fun one. So let me start with this one. I was really it, it, it was a weird time, but I was pretty into things, and I just started listening to podcasts, and a few of the ones I was listening to had me so hyped for this show. Like if you look at the, everything, like Brett Vince was pretty well built. Cena Batista was well built. Um, Edge and Jericho had a lot of backstory to it. Money, in the bank, always excitement. Ray and punk. The build was awesome to that. Uh, what am I missing? Um, the women, what was the women's match? Um, there's something pretty good for that card. Let me pull it up. Yeah. I know can't this remember. sounds crazy. I said, it's like an awesome build mania. I can't remember the friggin' matches, but we're covering a lot of stuff today. A lot, a lot going on in our heads. Yeah. Um, all right. So show Miz, Morrison, Truth is kind of whatever. Orton, Cody, and DiBiase, the legacy. Right, that that good. was a year long. Triple H, Sheamus had had solid build. Brett Vince, Ray Punk, Jericho Edge, 
Um, it was the lay cool 10 woman. So whatever. Cena Batista and then Taker Sean. We didn't even mention that. I mean, that was fantastic build all through um, Sean trying to chase him down, cost him the title. So he gets the match career versus streak. Uh, th this to me is great. And I think it's somewhere in contention in my mind for potentially all time go. I know it's not going to be there, but I, I think it's a fantastic build. And I would argue it may be one of the most disappointing WrestleManias of all time. When you factor sure. in how yeah. big that build was and that nothing really eclipses like, because even Taker Sean ends up being less than the year before, and it was almost impossible to match the year before. But yeah, fair or not, it you know the show as a whole ends up being pretty disappointing, I think. But the build, yeah. I remember being so amped up for this show. No, you're spot on with the build. Um, yeah, I, I'm either sandwiched between uh, WrestleMania eight and WrestleMania twenty three, or if you want to bump it ahead of WrestleMania eight, I'm there too. No, I think eight, um, eight's eight's elite to me. Um, like we talked about, there's so much good and it's such a tight card. But I think I think it's better than twenty three. Do you agree with that? Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. Why don't you kick us off on thirty four? All right. Uh, WrestleMania thirty four. That's the first uh, New Orleans WrestleMania. Uh, we got the Bray Cena stuff. I didn't like that at all. Um, speaking of things I didn't like. No, no thirty four um, second. Thirty four second New Orleans. Oh, thirty four is the second one. That's right. I'm thinking of thirty. Okay, so uh, thirty four. That's the triple threat um, with Miz and Rollins and Balor. Is that even built? Um, though? I don't remember really. No, it wasn't because we watched all that. I don't think it. Yeah. Uh, did we watch that? I don't know if we've done that. Did yet we before. do seventeen eighteen? No, we didn't do seventeen eighteen yet. No, we didn't do that yet. Oh, we did eighteen no. nineteen. We did eighteen nineteen. Yeah. Um. Charlotte Oscar was well built. Oscar won the role. yes. Okay, yeah. So Charlotte Oscar, we get the Taker Cena stuff was pretty well built on TV. We seen her trying to get a match at a taker, and then saying he's going to attend WrestleMania as a fan. They do it. Um, he sprints up the ramp. That's pretty well done. Um, I'll, I'll oh, say a couple the negatives. Tag total stuff is bad. I mean, Angle and Rou Rousey's like it's okay. It ends up being kind of weird because everyone's expecting the Rock. The highlight was the you get the meme of is that before that match where Angle's looking off and Triple H punches him in the face. I think that's like, yes, the build up yeah. There. And there's mm -hmm. some fun stuff. Angle snaps and him and Ronda do like the double ankle lock or whatever. Um, I will say Brian and Owen, like that's terrible. Like that's some of the all-time worst stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Brock Reigns, I, I think, is not good at all. Like I, I think no one wanted to see that match again um, at all. Like everyone was done with it. They had no rationale to do it. I think it's pretty meaningless. Uh, Naya Alexa was pretty well built with the bully stuff, uh, True, but even yeah. that felt miscast. It felt forced yeah. into the, the be a star stuff. Yeah, it's the two women's matches really pull up. Um, yeah. You know, which they're world titles, so it's the two women's world title matches really pull this up. Um, I still got it in trash though. Um, yeah, it's just. I'm trying there. to I think. think I think it, uh, it's very similar to 32. They're actually very similar. Yeah. I'll put it below 32 because I think Triple H Reigns had better build than the main event for 34. Because um, even AJ Knock, I don't, was there much besides Nakamura winning the Rumble? No, like, they just, this is going to be a great match. Yeah, that was built the build. Yeah. All right, let's do seven. Uh, my wrestling memories don't kick in for seven, but looking back at it, um, I mean, Hogan Slaughter is well built. I think. You know, you got the change of scenery. Um, you got Savage and Warrior. That's that's really good stuff going back to Survivor Series with uh, Savage wanting a title match. I guess you get a negative with, like, Perfect and Boss Man because that's supposed to be Rick Rude in that spot. Um, what else we got on that? Oh, Heart Foundation, Nasties. There's not a lot... This sums up my a, a pretty good well a well built mania. Um, Warrior Savage to me is like an all time feud and and set up. Um, Hogan Slaughter I think is really good for a match that no one had any expectations for. Slaughter steal the belt, ramping up Slaughter's rules. He's got the boots from Saddam Hussein. Burns the uh, burns the Hogan shirt. Um, I think that's good. Perfect Boss Man. It's really it's really Boss Man Bobby. So I think that 
that's actually really well built. Um, Perfect kind of is, is like Bobby's avatar for that. You can ding a little bit for Rude, but um, you also had the uh, uh, DiBiase Virgil we did talk about. I mean, that's like an right. all-time that's build. The DiBiase yeah. Virgil It's probably one of the most well-built. That's, thir that's third from the top. That's crazy. Yeah. And then you get the blindfold match, too. That, that's got a shitload of build as well. Yeah. Um, Hearts Nasties isn't too much to it. Nasties just win the Battle Royal. But LOD Power Glory is kind of built okay because Power Glory screw mm -hmm. LOD. Um, even Valentine Earthquake. Valentine turns on Jimmy. And Jimmy sends Earthquake out to, to take him out. Like, so there's like little stuff like that. Earthquake. Uh, massive Earthquake. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm okay putting it below like 26 and 20. No, no I think it's above 23 for me. Okay. Are you all right with that? Yeah, absolutely. And even 26, I'm, I'll leave it there for now, not to overrate the nostalgia, but all right. Uh, 28. All right, uh, so this is Once in a Lifetime. Uh, we did this for War. <sighs> we got the Teddy, Team Teddy versus Team Johnny stuff. That's yeah. the first thing that comes to my mind. Um, Sheamus is built well, but it's specifically the build up to the match with Brian. That's like, bro, he doesn't like Brian being a bully. That's kind of like the build up to that match. And right. he's gonna, you know, kick him in the face, and that's literally what happens. Um, they set it and forget it with Rock and Cena. Um, yeah, that's not even prior. like. Well, they have the stuff in Survivor Series with the yeah team up against Awesome Truth. But then they, they don't there's do nothing really there. Right, they don't yeah. do a ton other than that. Um, even yeah. Jericho Punk doesn't that not really heat up until the rematch when they start doing right. like yep. The sobriety stuff like that kind of kicks in after many i think if i'm remembering correctly no you're you're 100 right yep big show cody um, was was built okay yeah that was that was good um and then taker triple h I, uh no one really wanted to see it again honestly i don't think yeah i think i think we're mad replacement oh, or uh bottom or replacement level maybe okay yeah let's let's get one in replacement level okay because we got a we got a long build with a you know once in a lifetime main event. Yeah, uh, they we do got build a, that up. A big mid card, not mid card, but mid show match with the the one the uh, end of an era. You know that's man. Yeah, so all right, what do we got next? All right, you want to burn off thirty six um, because this is actually an interesting one, I guess, because we're ignoring the builds. Uh, I don't remember how many weeks was it when things shut down before the show. Three maybe. Um, the shutdown stuff that was all the first week of March. If I'm well, it was great. just the uh, it was just the anniversary actually today. Today we're recording this. I think March 11th. Okay. Um, so this show was April 4th. So, yeah, another what, three, month, three and a half weeks of it. Yeah. Um, man, might have trauma blocked this uh <laughs> this build out. Um, because it's supposed to be Reigns and and Goldberg, but then yeah. Reigns pulls out. Um, I don't even know how Strowman ends up in that match. Um, right. The whole thing is really just jacked around. I mean, Drew, you know, wins the right. Rumble, that's that's and good. Think, and that was that really good. Was pretty good. Yeah. Um, that was really good. Owens and Rollins was pretty decently built. Um, that's Rhea and Charlotte that had a good yeah. build. Um, yeah, where Charlotte wins the Rumble, right? And challenges for yeah. the NXT. Uh, Edge Orton, I think, was what? Edge returned at the Rumble, and then was there even much of a build? That, to that had a great build because that was uh, Orton giving Beth the RKO. Oh, right, right. That was really good. Otis yeah, and Dolph match, was pretty good, right? That was really good, yeah. So, ooh, we might have talked ourselves into... I think it goes after WrestleMania. Oh, uh, yeah, that's eleven there. I think it's at the end of good. Uh, end of good. Well, the Boneyard wasn't. I mean, I know it wasn't a Boneyard build, but Taker AJ, I don't think had a great build. Didn't he just come out and say like, "I want to challenge you"? Like, wasn't it pretty weak? It felt like it was kind of thrown together. Yeah, it was pretty much a use a shoot name. I'm you not putting. Uh, we could put it above. 28 if you want it's going replacement level at best and that's a All way right. over it. anyone who knows this these things right knows 36 is always in the woke for me so just putting a replacement level is is quite the the task here all right and it's the first all one right. built specifically for two nights of mania right 
Well, was it supposed to be two nights? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do 15. Was it? No. No, maybe I'm going back on that. Maybe it wasn't. No, I no, think that's a lie. They, re- they changed it. And then they stuck with it after that because they liked yeah. it. That was the reason they went to two. All right. Uh, 15. Ooh, the Rage and Climax. Um, the TV's chaotic. There's a lot going on. Um, Rock and Austin's built well. That's the, you know, the corporate corporate champ. Um, all that stuff. That's the the beer truck on Raw, the go home show. Um Well, you uh, get the jerk around with the IC and the in the hardcore. So that's like a negative to me. Triple H um, is built well. That's yeah, I think and Xbox Chain is built well. Like those are both really Yeah, that's well. really good. Foley big show. Eh. Kind of, and that really feels like it's forced. Big Show loses to Austin like the week before Mania. Um, that's kind of whatever. Uh, the um, Sable Tory is kind of weak. It was one of the ones I was going to say. Because you get the jerk out the IC and, and hardcore, that kind of really screws things up. The tag is kind of trash. Yeah, that's all on Sunday Night Heat. Uh, oh, Brawl for All. I mean, that, that's okay. Butterbean Bar. But even, I mean, they do some cool interview stuff. I, I think this is probably. I hate to say meh, but because there is some hot stuff in there. So maybe it's replacement yeah. level. I, I can't put it in good conscience below six, below 36. Though. So I'm going to put it above 36 for now. Because I think it was the least exciting. You know what I mean? Mm. I guess you also had the JR Cole shit in there, which was kind of funny leading up to it. Yeah. It's tough factoring in some of these shows that are, you know, pretty much a, a one match show. Like, yeah. Rock Austin was the money maker for that show. It was the match to make for that year. The build delivered. Again, we're not factoring in the match, but if we were, like the match delivers. So yeah, maybe it's, it's good. It's hard to it's hard to rate that. these these one match shows, kind of. Yeah, I guess Austin McMahon should probably. All right, so let's let's talk then, right? Because we're gonna get to yeah. something like mega power. Like, how much are we gonna wait that iconic storyline? You're right. I mean, it's a good call out. So like, I feel Austin McMahon probably does need to carry a lot of. A lot of weight. It might go in front of a lot. I screw this. Uh, yeah, I screwed this math up. Marcus, before you continue your thought, I've adjusted the math. Everyone has been screaming for the last 42 minutes, probably at this. <laughs> uh, it is, it's seven, not nine in those categories. I had based on 50 for some reason, it's 40. So uh, nothing really has changed. It's one, two, and then a bunch of sevens, and then two. So that, that makes me I'm looking at it thinking how we get years. nine in each of these things. Yeah. So. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I think 15. Maybe goes ahead of 11, breaks up 12 and 11 in my mind. But then it's tough because 11 does have two really, you know, it's got the celebrity match, which is really good. And it's got a, a pretty simple tag partner splitting up. But I've, I've turned around the way back. I think so. Austin McMahon is, is all time. Yeah, it, it's one it's one match. Well, it's one really, storyline that factoring- really does carry Austin McMahon, X Pac Shane, Triple H Kane, and Foley Big Show are all kind of tied into that Austin McMahon world on mm-hmm. this show. Everything else is kind of tangential, but um how in the world does Boss Man and Undertaker even happen? I have no idea how that match even comes together. Yeah, that's a little fucked up. It's like the corporate <laughs> well, Taker's starting to stalk Vince. That's kind of starting there with the um where to Stephanie that comes a little bit after that, like oh, okay. that's starting and, oh, yeah, and that's Vince, all backlash, right? Yeah. Vince sends his personal security boss man to like, you know, protect him or whatever. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting it above 23 right now. And, and I, it's all in the back of Austin McMahon because I think it's, uh, let's see how we do with mega powers and a couple other long-term ones, but it's like, that is it. That's probably the greatest storyline in WD history. And it culminates mm. at the show, in theory, right? It's building to culminate at the show. We're not looking past it. Um, I think you have to factor it in because I think the excitement was there for Austin Rock with Vince in the, in the corner. So, yeah. All right. Oof. All right. Let's do twenty-two. Uh, we're coming up on this uh, in real time for War. Um, really enjoying the season. I think it's built pretty well. Um, JBL Benoit is the one I remember. They kind of got to that naturally on SmackDown. 
remember that being good. Um, Mickey and Trish is that's great up to that time. That's the best women's build they've done. It's still up there. It's yeah. still probably the best one they've done uh, as far as a woman's storyline uh, from start to finish. Um, I guess the triple threat with Ray and and Orton and Angle. That's, that's a, a debacle. Messy. Well, more than a little messy. It's a shit show because that factors in Eddie's dead. Eddie's in hell. Ray's weak ass rumble win. Uh, you know, Angle comes over randomly from SmackDown. He wins a battle royal. Uh, I'm sorry, from Raw to win a battle royal to win the belly suddenly a face. Like, and then Ray loses, and they just say, "Eh, you know what? Do you actually deserve it? So we'll put you back in the match." <laughs> I think it's like all time sneaky bad build. Um, not to give away war too much, maybe we shouldn't dive too much into this. Sean Vince obviously has a lot of really good build. Um, RVD coming back from Money in the Bank is like really good build. Edge and Foley is well built even though it did feel like a uh like a pacifier for edge to shut him up for not being world champion i i think cena triple h is all time kind of shitty built because you get the triple h saying you can't wrestle and it kind of turns the crowd against him like you know all that stuff i actually don't think that's well built at all taker henry is like okay so mm. to me this feels like i think replacement level is probably kind like i think it's all right because you get trish mickey's great and Sean Vince is great. Mm -hmm. And then you get some good, like Edge Foley. And then you get some bad. I feel like, you know, bad is like the Ray. Ray's like all time bad, that match to me. Yeah. All time bad build. It's a great match, but it's all time bad build. And Cena Triple right. H to me is, is not great because I think it, it, that whole season, we'll talk, we've been talking about it. And like just once they get to summer and they start kneecapping Cena left and right. And this did not help like at all. This, if, this really, if we look at it, the top matches are the two world title matches and probably Sean and Vince. Those are the top three matches. Yeah. Um, you know, that's one two out of those three or, or, you know, yeah, two out of three are poorly built. So I'm putting nah, it to Matt. feels right. I think it's Matt. Yeah. All right, let's do uh nine. A little frisky. I think the show is built up really well. It's the, the problem with the show is all the finishes. And thankfully for us, uh, for this project, um, that doesn't factor into this. Uh, you got the, the money, the money ink beaten up beefcake when he comes back and smashing his face with the, the briefcase. Um, that was like the first real angle done on raw. Um, I think that's that's good stuff and bringing Hogan back as his buddy. You don't count uh, Savage. You don't count Savage or Repo as the first big Raw angle. Uh, Repo on the hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brett Yoko, they do with like that's Yoko winning the Rumble, getting award the title shot for winning. Um, or well, you know, winning the contract the match. signing is great. The too. contract signing is a big yeah. angle that I remember. This one for me is probably like WrestleMania seven for you. Like I remember a lot about this WrestleMania. This is the first one I remember. Like the build, I remember the day. Looking forward to the show. Um, so yeah, I think for me, this top matches again. Um, you got uh, Lex Luger knocking people out, and he's like fighting perfect on behalf of Bobby. And, and like, you get Tatanka Sean. Tatanka had pinned him and twice that, yeah. in non-title matches. Pinned him twice. Uh, Gonzalez Taker to that point actually was built well too. Gonzalez built screwed well. him at the Rumble and then destroyed guys leading up to Mania. It's really after that that it gets shaky. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the Mega Maniacs. If you take out the Hogan Yoko crap and we're not, we're not counting that, it's like it is pretty well built. Like Beefcake, yeah, they kick. The it's exciting. He comes back to kick the shit out of him. I was pretty pumped at the time for Hogan to come back. Crush Doink was also set up well. Yeah. Um, you know, Doink attacks him with the battery. Him up with his well. arm. <laughs> yeah, I mean. You know, we don't, we don't get big old Kamala, but that's fine. But, and they do build up the Vegas thing. They have, they have a Caesar mm -hmm. at the Rumble. Um, I think we're learning a lot about nine in these tier lists as well. Like, it, it was mm -hmm. kind of high, sneaky high in rewatchability. Um, theme, it was like, you know, I don't want to spoil if you haven't watched it. We did the tier maker on that. It was high on that. And I think. I think we're in great. Uh, great. I, I getting, think it's a great build. It's getting late early up in great though. Like we're, we're it getting is. A, I'm moving 23 to the top of good. I, I just, I, it's okay. out. yeah, we get too much cooking up here. Um, I'm going to put nine below 15 right now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I could see yeah. nine dropping to good. 
um, and, and finishing up is like, you know, the first or second and good. But you also had a really, Brett, really great build. You had the Brett Respect video. It's um, the go home. That was like a great video with Aretha Franklin, RSPCT. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Razorback one's kind of the only match that doesn't really have much to it. And Steiner's right. head shrinkers, I guess, but that, that was sold on being a bloodbath. So, um, all right, let's do uh, 27. All right. Try to separate uh, the art from the artist on this one. Um, Ray and Cody is built well. That's good stuff. Um, Del Rio with nothing. the Destiny. Ugh. Yeah, there's not it a lot there. Doesn't Edge, isn't that what he like... draws on the limo and all that shit? Yeah. Um, or is that Christian? Who does that? It's Edge, right? It's Edge and Christian. Yeah, it's, it's both they of both them. Do it. But is that leading up to the Edge so. match or the Christian matches? I think it's leading up. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, I can't remember. So oh, that's okay. a ding. Um, Punk and Orton was a little sports entertainment E, but... They heated it up pretty quickly. Um, Miz and Cena. Eh. No, it's crap. Yeah, I think um, the best thing built on that show is probably Snooki and Trish <laughs> and John Morrison. That was built up pretty good. Yeah, but even that's um, a throwaway with Morrison. Everyone wanted him the world title match. Like, And, yeah. and Lawler Cole to that point was built okay if it ends there um right because you think you think cole's gonna get beat up in you know two yeah. minutes or whatever and if like you get lawler's first ever mania win but you did all the stupid swagger stuff with austin and brian christopher i don't know like i uh, i i liked the brian christopher I, I liked it yeah. i liked all that i thought the build was actually pretty good um i liked cole having like a heater uh and jack swagger somebody there to eat the stunner um, the core yeah, Austin stupid. involved. Course, yeah, then. that's all bad, and that's all happens on like the SmackDown before WrestleMania. It's all, yeah. So, uh, I think I think we're in trash territory. Yeah, because that it doesn't say here anything in Wikipedia about the limo. That might have been after, but um, but even Taker Triple H felt like everyone wanted Taker Sting. That's what everyone was expecting, and then Triple oh, H just kind of gets shoved in there, and there's like no real reason. It's just kind of, hey, we we fought 10 years ago, and hey, I'm going to do this on behalf of Sean. And, like, I don't think there's a ton else there. Um, yeah, Triple H. So, yeah, Undertaker comes out because we all think it's going to be Sting, but it's Undertaker, and Undertaker comes out. And then before he can talk, Triple H comes out, and he just points at the sign. And, yeah, like, the crowd went crazy, but, like, for the build, sucked. So, yeah, trash. I put it slightly ahead of 29. Because I think also, I think Cole King is probably better built than anything on twenty nine is my guess. Um, yeah, the Sting stuff really hurts it because that that really the way they hyped it, it seemed like that's where they were headed, uh, and maybe they were right. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah. Sting Taker in Atlanta, like Sting having a home game, mm -hmm. Undertaker having to play, you know, his Super Bowl on the road, pretty much like. And even know? Miz Cena was more rock, rock Cena than Miz. Like, yeah. Like it felt versus Miz. So, all right, that's trash. We'll throw it down there where it belongs. Um, that's that's one consistency on all these lists. 20, 27. You may be able to argue it's the worst. 27 and 18 are somehow shaken out to be maybe the worst mania. when all these lists that keep proliferating the bottom. All right, let's do four. It's all about the tournament, the tournament, monsoon. Um, yeah, the tournament plays a lot, uh, plays a big role. You got uh, the, the the build up to Hogan Andre too. Um, you get the dog napping. I think that's a plus. Um, that's the only. I think it's the only undercard match with anything, right? Like Demolition Strike get, Force uh, and BFK Conky don't have a ton yet. Warrior and Hercules. You get the breaking of the chain. That's, that's like okay. One segment. <laughs> yeah. Um. The, the Battle Royals. Nothing. It's the Saturday night main event angle or the main event angle. To get the title off of Hogan, that's an oh, it's all about so the tournament it, again. It, it probably goes, it's kind of the 15 it probably, discussion, it, it's the 15 build, yeah. It's the same, the same discussion, but I think Austin McMahon is much greater than 
because the moment of Hogan Andre at the main event is all time. Mm-hmm. But I think I don't. I just wasn't watching, so I'm just kind of going by shit I've seen since. But like, I feel like the hype to the tournament was like good. Uh, but they changed the brackets halfway through, which kind of made it a little bit more obvious. Remember, it was lining up to be like Hogan DiBiase, and then they kind of flip it around. Um, they don't really do like any kind of qualifying for it in any way. Like, it's just here are the guys. Yeah. There's it's, no real feuds in the tournament. Like, no guys that are feuding end up fighting each other right. in the tournament besides Hogan and Andre, but that's predetermined. Yeah, you get like the the leveling off of Hogan Andre, like the last, the last bit of milk to be had, you, you know, you squeeze it out of there. But then with Hogan or uh, with Austin and McMahon, it's like at its hottest point, it kind of meets right. with WrestleMania. So I think it gets the, gets the nod. WrestleMania 15 right. does over. Well, I don't think it's even, I, I'm debating if it's even good. Like I, I it seems blasphemous to say I'd have it below like 11, but I, I don't, I guess the tournament's pretty well built. Like as a as a cons. All right, you want to put it at the top. Of they good? do it. Yeah, I, I think they do a huge angle. Like they had one shot, they knock it out of the park, yeah. and from that angle, everything f- falls out. So, all right, I'm, I'm not committed to keeping it there, but for now, it's at the top of top of good. All right, let's go. Last year, 39. Ooh, that's bloodline, man. Ooh, that was really good. Um, Cody win the rumble. Um. Rhea and Charlotte kind of, you know, Rhea matching. It's almost kind of like a rock Austin two situation. Um, Rhea's meeting Charlotte at the peak. Um, well, you get the, um, you get the, uh, Sammy KO Usos as part yeah. of the bloodline. So it's just kind of both mm-hmm. nights of mania. It's kind of carried by that. Um, you get Ray and Dom, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, then you, you get some down, right? Like Brock Omos, Omos is whatever. Theory scene is fucking terrible with Theory and Vince's yeah. office. Like, that's stupid. Um, you know, Mac, all the McAfee, Snoop, Miz, like, that's kind of weak. Uh, I do like the Trish Lita damage control stuff. Rollins, Logan Paul is pretty well built. Um, Edge and even, Valor is a traditional build. Yeah. But even like um, the Gunther Sheamus said, this is like, hey, neither guy won because you cost them. And we're just going to have it. Like, it was exciting, but it wasn't like built. It was just like three dudes thrown together. Um, the women, like the two showcase tags have no build. Uh, mm. But but the, top, the, the good stuff is great. Like Bloodline, Cody, KO, and, and Sammy's all-time stuff. Rhea Charlotte's very good. Ray Dom is fantastic. It's mm-hmm. so like those three alone, you know, it's probably enough to, to boost this a decent amount, I guess. Um, feels, it feels like a rich man's version of 23. Yeah. So you want to put it right below four? Yeah. But it's, it's like, does it compare it to nine? Does it go? Like, nine to me has nothing. Yeah. I, I think we might have to put four and yeah. nine above nine because like to me, nine has, if we, if we break it, start to break it down. This is what I'm starting to think of it now. Good is like rock solid. They do a great job, but there's no all time component to it. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you look at our great line, what do we have that, that kind of hits all these you have like, and maybe we have to all-time reevaluate angles. 26, right? Because seven has all time, multiple all time angles, seven, uh, seven and eight, both have multiple all time angles. 15 has the greatest angle of all time. Four has got the tournament with the great angle. 39's got the bloodline, which is an all-time angle. What does 26 have that's all time? Brett Vince, I guess. But even the build is like some, okay. some might say the Sean build to face yeah. face and taker, the desperation. You know, I think it's a little bit overrated, but I some people do hold that pretty high. So it might be in the back end of great where you just moved it to for now. But we're gonna get a couple. It, feel, it feels like the lesser than of all the angles and, and matches we talked about. We're going to get a couple all-timers coming, though. So that, that might bump down. But I, I think now we're starting to crystallize a little bit. Like, it's almost sudden, like, replacement level has, like, you know, whatever. It's pretty balanced. And then we kind of go from there. But we got a lot to fill in this meh in replacement level. So, so yeah. some of the stuff may actually bump down. Um, oh, I see 37. Because this is a show I really like. But I'm thinking the build isn't anything too hot. 
again, it probably suffers from trauma blockage of, of mm-hmm. a pandemic and trying to crawl out of that. Um, yeah. It's it. Uh, they do Owens and Zane. They they build off of of the already established history there. Yeah. Um, Cesaro and Rollins is all about you know can Cesaro you know win a big match. Um, now that the pressure's on, the spotlight's on. Um, does Orton Fiend have any build or no? Not really, right? It does because that's where Orton had like set him on fire. Like yeah, Fiend so distracts Orton. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad build. It's a bad build. Um, and like Alexa Bliss does a lot of the the heavy lifting there. Um, oh, that's right. She keeps uh, coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Bianca, even Bianca, does that? I mean, she wins the Rumble. Bianca and Sasha, there's not really much of a build there either. It's just a, you know, respect. Um, unless I'm mistaken, but that's, that's what's like in my head. Um, right. One match has got some build is like Edge, Brian, and. Reigns, Brian's claim is like, I'm the best wrestler in the world. I'm going to end up in this main event. He finds a way in. Uh, Reigns is on his domination tour, and he got Edge fighting for, you know, title he never lost. So, um, Apollo Crews, like, I don't know, he finds his roots, I guess, in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Braun and Shane have like, okay, build. Um, this feels really meh. Yeah, because like there's some good stuff in there, but it's like it's all in the Thunderdome, which is hard to get excited about. It's almost like the the punishment that 36 deserves is going to 37 for this one. (laughs) Yeah, 36 is built well up until everything shut down, but 37 is a great show. But the build is shaky because everything was shut down. Yeah. All right, so we'll put a 37. We'll go in there below two and 22. Yeah. All right. How about 25? Um, they unify the tag titles. That's a thing. You get Jericho with the legends. That's that's well done. Um, you get the Hardy Boys. Even though I didn't really want to see them fight, all that stuff is done well. Yeah, that's pretty um, well done because you get the. I mean, some of it's a little hokey with the house the, and the dog. The and Orton that, Triple H stuff is really it's great. good. Yeah, it's great. Um. Take or Sean. Like, I don't think there's a ton there, though. Is there a building no, for that? No, it, it's uh, it's Sean. He does the, the bit on SmackDown where he descends, um, or he shows up as like the white version of Undertaker, or whatever. Um, there's not a lot of build there. Um, Money in the Bank is kind of whatever. He goes. Sean is more yeah. in the JBL story leading up to this in a way. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we're in Meh. I think we got another Meh. Yeah, because like you said, the legend stuff, and I mean, Triple H is great, but beyond that, there's not a lot kind of with it. Um, is it ahead of 22? So we got, it's basically what, Mickey, Trish, and Sean Vince against Orton, Triple H, and probably what, the Hardys and Jericho. Yeah. I mean, and, Orton, Triple H. And Orton, and Orton, Triple H. I think that carries it because that's a bigger Over match. Sean Vince, though? Sean Vince is a lot. Yeah, of I think Orton Triple H at that time is is a, okay. a bigger match than Sean Vince. Yeah, I can go with that. Okay, we'll whittle it away here. Let's do uh, thirty nine. Uh, we did thirty nine. Oh, we did there. I'm. I mean, uh, thirty eight. Yeah. Right, thirty eight. Um, that's the second one from AT and T Stadium slash Jerry World. Uh, we get the I'm conflicted because I hated the build of. Seth Rollins doesn't have a match. Who's his dance partner? Like they make it sound like prom. Like yeah. he doesn't have anybody to dance with. I hated that. But Bianca and Becky was well built. Um, that was going Austin back Austin Owens to was well built. SummerSlam. Austin Owens is fantastic. Um Knoxville and Sammy was actually pretty that, pretty it's fun. really good stuff. Yeah. Um Reigns and Lesnar, this is nah. probably the second best build they have. Um, I think so. Yeah, I think it's better than the 30. Is this where Paul build. fakes out turning or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, it's really carried on the Austin Owen stuff, which is a pretty traditional 
build, but it's done well. Um, yeah, and Knoxville Zane again had a lot of build, but it's got the yeah. stupid happy Corbin and uh, Drew. I mean, it's kind of felt yeah. like such a waste of Drew. Usos, uh, Shinsuke, and Boogs, kind of whatever. Logan Paul and Miz and the Mysterios is solid. Um, I think we Charlotte got our top Rando. replacement level. Yeah, I think I'm looking at it very replacement level. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Because it feels like a lot of miss. I think it's the bottom mm. of replacement level. Okay. I don't. I don't think. Um, well, I don't know. Is Austin Owens better than any anything on the other two? I guess probably. Yeah, I think so. All right. Okay, let's do ten. All right, we got the coin flip. Uh, as a result of the the double uh, rumble winners, uh, we got the intercontinental title uh who's the real intercontinental champion uh we got brett and owen um we got savage and crush i think is gonna boost this up a good bit um even doink and bigelow had yeah, been built I mean, up that's... since survivor series yeah that starts the year um, before um, yeah and then you also get the tease of the two guest refs which actually build up pretty well they build up all the celebrities very well um as part of it, Brett Owen, yeah, the big, I mean, the coin toss is a little hokey, but they do an okay job making it seem like a big deal and important. And again, like Savage Crush is a great feud. Razor Sean is, is really well done too with the titles, the two titles. Um, yeah, it's all right. So, would you have it above 26? I guess we got to look at that. Do we want it to be in the great or is it at the top of the good? Because it does have some really this, big long term yeah. stuff. Like it, it feels a little bit like twelve in that it's like rock solid long term, but it's it's a higher level. I think like Brett Owen, Razor Sean, mm -hmm. Savage Crush are all like they all started yeah. in October, November. Mm -hmm. um, even Luger chasing the title really started in August. <laughs> like. So there's a lot of build to that. It really feels like a big blow off show. Yeah, I feel like it's ahead of 26. I think I'm bumping 26 at the top of good for now. Okay. And then where do you want to put 10 versus like 39? I think it's, ooh, I was going to have it right behind 39. Yeah, because I, I don't, I, th I think, well, yeah, Bloodline's probably a bigger deal than anything on those. Because Brett Owen's an awesome story, but historically it's not really like a big thing um it is but it's, it's such a weird period of time i guess that it's hard to say like it's a big deal for the company you know whereas the bloodline's been on top during like their third boom period pretty much <laughs> yeah i mean if you count the booms as the, the rocket wrestling the attitude and i would say this is their biggest right probably since mm -hmm. attitude maybe that little blip they had like in the the punk stuff but like in brian but this this is like blowing that away so yeah all right, let's do 13. I mean, Chad and I have been covering on Wrestling Warzone. It, it's a poorly built mania. Uh, I mean, there's no way around it, right? Like We talked about Ad Nauseam on the build-up and on that episode. It, Brett Austin's the greatest match of all time, but going in, you're excited for it, but I can't say it's like super well-built. You're, you're a week out. You don't know if it's going to be for the title or not. Um, but beyond that, like Taker Sid has no real – nothing to it um, as, as a match. Mankind, Vader, Bulldog, and Owen, they're feuding with each other. Like each team is feuding with each other. That makes no sense. Rocky Sultan has no build. That opening tag has no build. Triple H Goldust is fine, but it's fucking boring as hell. Um, Ahmed Nation is good, but I this feels mm -hmm. I don't think it's trash. Um, I have it maybe like behind two over there, maybe ahead of two, but it's like that's where it's at for me. I think it's better than 37, but yeah, you just watched all that, and I thought you guys guys did a great job breaking down WrestleMania 13. So uh, I'm in, in step with you on this one. I'm gonna put it behind two because I, I think the best is Ahmed and Nation and, and Brett Austin. But even again, Brett Austin doesn't feel like that's where they're going until like a few weeks before. You know, it, it feels mm. it's gonna be similar to another one, and we can just talk about now, and that's 30. So I think 30 is another one that's gonna get hurt by this. Um, by this format because the build really is, is pretty hackneyed with Brian and, and that shit, because 
you know, they have the great authority stuff, but he felt very much like Mick Foley going into 2000, where he was like the mm -hmm. placeholder in the winter, and you're figuring, okay, like he's just they're just using him to kill time till Batista comes in and you do him and in Orton or whatever. So it felt very much like not the way. Um, yeah, I mean, I and then so you know the the crowd turns on them. You get the yes from the yes, yes, yes on. It's it's great, but uh, you get Batista being booed out of the fucking building every time he's on, so that hurts. Shield versus the Outlaws mm. and Kane feels like a nothing burger. Um, was there a lot of build for Taker Brock? Not that I remember. No, I really don't remember a lot. Um, I think there's a couple sneak attacks. Um because at the Rumble, that's when Brock beats the shit out of Big Show, right? Like that's, yeah. Uh, and then Cena and and Bray is like, yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm looking at trash, and I know that's harsh because it's so fondly remembered. But yeah, the Wyatt basically looking... attacked Cena at the Rumble and attacked him in No Way Out. And they wanted to end the era of lies. Like, that's, like that was kind of it. They wanted to turn him into a monster. Yeah, I don't know. Like anything was seen in that era feels so forced. Um, for Brock, him and Heyman complained about Lesnar not being in the title match. So they gave him an open contract. Taker came out and had a confrontation. <laughs> and that was Taker's first appearance since April. Um, and then Taker stabbed him with a pen. <laughs> so that was, and that was it pretty much um so again not a lot going on and like i think we get to punish a little bit for the brian stuff because it, just, it wasn't the plan they were forced and barely forced into it yeah and even brian it's all him like feuding with like triple h to get the match like he's whining about getting in he's not even like going after orton he's not like forcing the issue he's not making it personal like everything's against like him and Triple H. If anything, they should have just done a match with him and Triple H. And like if Brian wins, Brian gets a title shot, like at Backlash or whatever. Um, the next night stuff was kind of forced, I thought. So I I've got it in trash and I've got it behind 32. Oof. I I was gonna I say man. Because I to me, I think Triple H and uh Reigns is better built than Brian weaseling his way into the the triple threat match. Yeah, if but they it's got better moments. But it's got better Batista. moments. The yes in the cage is like in all time. But that's to him and and Bray going into Ro uh, Royal Rumble. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, it feels nuts, but nothing on the card really screens. I mean, they were kind of leaning on it being thirty. And Brian, once he's in, they're just kind of banking on his story, which is well told. But the best part of his story is that night, like getting hurt, has an awesome opener, gets hurt. Mm -hmm. Now, the only thing you can say is you I think you give him a little credit for at least tying it back to the authority stuff with the monster video and all that. So um I don't know. It's to me, it's somewhere again, if we're looking at short builds and and course I think it's above 37. It's gotta be above 37. Um, you know, I will take the course correction of 13 over 30. Okay. Let's so put it right after 13. I think they're super sim. I, I think 30 and 13 are very similar. I, I think they're kind of two shows that they didn't know what they were going to do with them. And they kind of, and 32 is actually similar too. So I don't know, maybe, maybe 37 and 32 should kind of swap, or maybe it's like this. This is our, maybe our full seven right here for now. Like, because 13 30 32 all feel very similar to me like yeah there's some good stuff but they had no clue what the fuck they were doing until like weeks before the show and everything changed a million times those all yeah. feel similar to me like that yeah we're seeing a theme there and again I, I think 13 is the richest of all those all right let's do 21 all right uh first money in the bank is built up really well um yeah. We get uh, Triple H and Batista had been built well. That's the, the double thumbs yep. down and the power bomb. Yeah, all time stuff. Uh, Cena JBL is good. I don't think it's great, but it, it's a good build. Um, we got Ray uh, Eddie doesn't have a lot of story oh, to it. Yeah, Ray Eddie. It's, yeah, that's that's getting started. That's just like 
a friendly challenge and they happen to be tag team champions. Take or Orton's kind of weak, right? Orton, RKO, Stacy, and then just wants to. I mean, I guess you factor in some of the legend killer stuff. Yeah. Um, you got Hogan Hassan thing, but that's not really built at all. Like Hogan's kind of a surprise shows up. Um, Aki Bono Big Show is kind of whatever. Uh, Angle Michaels had been, was a good. Oh, build. that's great. Yeah, Angle. Yeah. So you're really you're really banking on Angle Michaels and Batista Triple H being great and Money in the Bank being strong. So I think this yeah. is probably good. Um, it, it feels similar to 23. A couple like really top level stuff and then kind of a bunch of whatever behind it. Better than nine? Yeah. In my head, I think, I think it's better than nine. I think, I think the Triple H yeah. and exactly. I think the Triple H Batista uh, build is better than yeah. Taker and, and Michaels. Are you all right if we move 33 down to replacement level? I feel like I want to yeah. keep 11 and 12 in this group of good. Yeah, no. It's going to get bumped. We got a, cu a couple more shows coming up. All right, let's do 35. It's one we watched recently on War. Um, you got Brian Kofi's, I mean, really well, well built, but not really, actually. I guess when you think about it, um, Brian himself as a character is well built, but Kofi, they do all that stupid jerking around with. Um, they kind of tease them. They're going to get the title match tonight. And then it's not really the title match. And it feels like it's like it's going to be Mustafa Ali. And they change that at the last minute. Like it feels like the head of that way as recently as like roadblock. Um, so again, that, that feels a little shaky. Seth Brock doesn't have a ton to it besides Seth winning the rumble. Ronda, Charlotte, Becky, you have all the Becky stuff building up, but besides so the fight much. in the garage, I think a lot of that's yeah. kind of maligned, right? Um, they threw a million spaghetti strings at the the wall, and like yeah. the only one that stuck was the the brawl. I mean, Angle Corbin is terrible because that's all the constable bullshit with the GM mm -hmm. and all that. Reigns and McIntyre might be one of the better things built on that show, and again, that's just like a, a bonus piece on the show. Like it's Triple it's H okay. Batista is terrible. Yeah, it's with Batista Dragon Flare and the give me what I want, the guardians of the indie scene. We kind of liked Shane yeah. Miz. Yeah. <laughs> um AJ Orton doesn't really have much of a build. So th this feels like probably um probably replacement level, back end of replacement level, I guess. Or at, maybe we move 25, 25 up, and maybe 35 is like Right here above two, maybe. Mm -hmm. Although I think two has bigger stuff, actually. I think I think yeah, Piper T there. is bigger than anything on 35. I think Piper T, the Battle Royal, and, and probably Hogan Austin. Bundy. I think the build is... I think 13 is like the hardest WrestleMania ever to rate. Like, like it's so weird. <laughs> it's like the, it's got an all-time thing, but then the rest is so stupid. And the build isn't good, but Austin Brett is so good. Um, but the best Austin Brett comes later, really, too. Yeah. All right. Um, All right. Let's do we'll uh, 30 there, 35 there for now. All right. Yeah, let's leave it there. All right. Let's do 24. Uh, the Flair Michael stuff with Old Yeller. Old Yeller. Yeah. Right. Um, well, and all Flair, you know, having to keep winning. Like, that was pretty good. Uh, we get Taker Edge. Yeah, uh, it was all right. They kind of lean into like kind of undefeated at WrestleMania versus undefeated at WrestleMania. But even that's bullshit because he, he didn't he he didn't win the year before. Yeah, they should they should have pulled him. He shouldn't have been in that match. Um, yeah, because that that hurt it. Um, but Tisu Maga has no build. Yeah, uh, that's or just Triple H Cena is like okay. You get the Rumble return for Cena, but it's like kind of jammed in there. Mm hmm. Um, Mayweather Big Show is a good build. JBL Finley with the Vince's illegitimate son. That's the the culmination of that. He kicks down Hornswoggle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Kane this. crushing Chavo. It's not really built. Uh, this. There's no going. Yeah. I think it's a replacement I level. It's, it's like it's kind of fine. It's got flair. It's got the one big thing, I guess. Um. So I think it's similar to like 28 and 25, where it's kind of got. Like one big angle and not a ton else cooking. So how do you rank the big angles? Rock, Rock Cena, 
Triple H Orton and Flair Michaels. Like, I guess that's kind of how it's going to tell the story. Or maybe with a big show. I guess it's got two. Oh, yeah. That really does help. Um, yeah, it might be. A, I think I've got it. Hang on. Hmm. Let's reassess this, this tier. Because to me, replacement level is shaping up to be one great thing. And then maybe it doesn't have that big number two. So you got Austin Owens, Flair Michaels with... Mayweather, so that might be the best because I, I think it's got two. Um, 33, like I feel like we did that one early now, coming back to it. I, I don't know if it has any great Cena Miz, I guess. The Cena Miz stuff is is really good. Like and the Bray, and, I guess, and the Bray, the Bray Orton build, yeah, is really, really, really good. Okay, um, so how many of these have two things? We have that has two things. Uh, it's, We'll give it three. We'll say Cena, Miz, Orton, Bray, and Festival. But none are like all time. 38, we said it has Austin Owens, and then it's got like Knoxville, and I guess Brock Reigns, if you like that. Um, 24 has got two pretty great ones. 36, that was more solid. I think that's at the bottom of this group. Yeah. It doesn't have that great... Um, t- 25. Do you want that ahead of 28? Because 28 has got Rock Cena and I guess Taker Triple H. That feels like the weakest second of all these options. Although 25 has yeah, got I, Hardy Hardy as its second. So maybe that's the weakest of them all. Yeah, I do really. And yeah. I think 24 I is at the, the top of this group. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's where we're getting to. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do 31. I think the Brock and Reigns build is good. I know everybody's mad because it wasn't Daniel Bryan, yada, yada, yada. Um, But I like the Brock and Reigns stuff. Um, Seth and Orton is built well. Um, They probably wait a week or two too long to do the turn. Uh, and make the match official, but that's that's like kind of a blow off of the authority. Um, Rusev Cena is kind of whatever, right? Because they fight at Chamber. That's the first match. Oh no, they do fight at Chamber. No, they right? fight. They fight them. They have three. Yeah. And th- th- this is the second one because Rusev wins the first one uh, the month yeah. before. Okay. Um, a fast lane or Mace Chamber, whatever. He wins. He wins the one before it. And then Cena wins the next two. Take a Bray. I don't think has much of a build at all. No. Triple H Sting. I don't think that has much of a build either, does it? No. No. I feel like we're in trash. We might be in trash territory. Yeah, because um, even the Rollins, even the main event, like I know you said it was pretty good, but the Brian thing really hung over that. And it really hurt mm-hmm. Reigns at the Rumble. That's an all. That's probably the worst Rumble of all time. Yeah. Okay. You have it at the top of this heap, though? You might have it at the bottom. Like I can at least remember like specific okay. things about the other builds. Thirty one. Like once we started talking through it, I was like, "Oh, yeah." I, I going into that, I think that's one of the main is that probably most exceeded expectations because everyone was so yes. down on the company at that point because of what was going on. And I remember thinking, "Oh, actually, this is kind of a sneaky great mania." <laughs> um, yeah, the show itself was great, it. but yeah, I guess yeah, yeah, that's a good spot. Um, all right, let's do. We can. I've been saving some of the heavy hitters for the end here. Let's do forty. Let's get that out of the way. Um, I think it's I... one of the ones where it's a very modern show to me. Like on paper, the card looks good, but I can't say the build to get to those good things has been good. Um, so the they they've set the course with Cody and Roman. That's going to be at the top. You got The Rock coming in for a tag match. Seth's involvement in that is kind of am, but it might be a way to get the title off of him. Um, the next night. The next night. Um, All right, so here's so what we have really officially. That's a lot of the as, weight. As of the time we're doing this, here's what we have officially. We have, we have the Bloodline tag versus Cody and Rollins. Rollins versus Drew. Reigns versus Cody. So, right, so those are locked in night one and night and two. Bailey and Bailey um, and Bailey, yo. Uh, yo. Rhea, Becky, 
Gunther versus some kind of gauntlet match winner, it sounds like, is what they're doing. Uh, we're doing this during Raw. They've also announced a six-pack ladder for the tag titles. So Finn and okay. Damian Priest against teams that are going to qualify for that. And that's all the official yeah. stuff for now. Everything else is speculation. Um, so, again, it, none of this stuff to me has, like, a defined build, depending on how you – like, yeah. even Rollins Drew has some, but Drew, we know, only is there because Punk got hurt. Um, and then the other stuff is, like, is your mileage may vary on how you feel The Rock has been, right? I, I feel like everyone's kind of been up and down. I, I, I don't want to shit on it because, like, I'm excited, but – and this feels meh. I feel like 37 goes to the top of the trash because of all the Thunderdome shit. And then I think this goes at the back end of meh for, well, for now, because we don't know enough about it. I, I have it making quite a jump. I don't know. I, I'm really big on the Cody Roman to even though I don't like the actual booking of Cody probably getting the job done the second time around. Um it does feel like it's their best match they could do if they're not going to do Cody Rock one on one. Um I don't know. This one might creep up closer to like WrestleMania two for me. Yeah. Yeah I'm fine with it. I mean 13 is pretty rough. 35 we said it was pretty rough. I mean yeah that's that's fine. Right in the middle of meh. I mean, I'm also fine. Let's see how the rest of them fall. I'm also fine just throwing it at the end of replacement level because we don't know enough about it yet. Maybe we should put it there for now. This is kind of like we don't know what we don't know yet, but we can move it if yeah. needed. Um, all right. So listen, right now at this point, we need one more worst. We need pretty much one more of each category in the in the sevens. We get we still haven't done any of our top three yet. So we got two goats and one the goat, two almost goats and one the goat. So we got some big boys left here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've been trying to save some of these big ones to talk about here at the end. Uh, all right, WrestleMania 20. So it all begins again. Well, I think 20 is on the surface feels a little bit like 30 at times. Um, but I do think they were committed to Benoit earlier than they committed to Brian. Like, I, I think they knew Benoit in December. Mm -hmm. He wins the Rumble decisively. The only thing is he looks a little weak as they shoehorn Sean into the thing, right? And into, into the proceedings. So I will say though, at least Sean got himself into the match as opposed right. to like Daniel Bryan, who just like gets a bunch of extras in the ring and like complains to Triple H. Right. Like, I'll take the super kick and signing the blank contract over right. complaining about not being it in does the make match. Benoit look like a bitch, though. That he that was able and that, that that's a thing that they can do. <laughs> um so I'll say that's a little weak. Uh I do like Rock and Sock versus Evolution. I think that's pretty yeah, well that's built. Good. They have This Is Your Life and all that the week before. Um, and Orton, the Legend Killer. So that's good. Rock comes back to help Foley. It's a cool kind of callback to when, you know, they didn't always get along and now they're buddies. Um, return of Dead Man Taker. Yeah, that was really well built. Taker's return. Angle Eddie is well built. Uh, off of Eddie beating Brock. Brock big Goldberg show is well built. Yeah, that's pretty well built. Seen as uh, yeah, Brock but... Goldberg. That's yeah. rough because it's yeah. all about Austin. Right. I had just kind of uh, I think on this day in wrestling history, it put up a bunch of stuff about that build. Um, and yeah, a lot of that build. That one's like a what March fourteenth, I think, is that Mania. Yeah. Um. So yeah, a lot of that build was about Austin. Um. For Lesnar and Goldberg. Christian Jericho was really well built. That's yeah. That's great. Um. And then you get stuff like the tags or whatever. Um, and then Victoria Molly was fine too. So yeah, I think, I mean, yeah. that is a really good one. Uh, I don't know. How do you, is it, I got it. I'm looking at 24. Like for some reason, those, those are kind of comps to me. Um, I think it's higher than that. Okay. I, I was thinking even ahead of like 11 and 12 and 23. Because we named a lot of stuff. Okay. The Hall of Fame was a big deal yeah. too, actually, for that one. They they really hyped mm -hmm. that up. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. think it's above okay. nine. I think it's above nine too. Like, I think Taker's return. Benoit's finally hit. You know, is he going to break through the glass ceiling? He's got both DX guys in his way. 
that are looked at as like the two biggest politicians of the last 10 years or whatever. You got Angoletti seen as rise. So, do we think the the whole I think I think do we think the whole is better than some of the of of its parts or do we think that some of the parts is better than the whole with with 20 because that good tier with 21, 26, 9, 23, 12 and 11 it's all like the one or two big angles that lead to one or two big matches. So Yeah, but no, see I think it's the opposite. I feel like we it's almost like replacement level is more like that. I feel like that mm. good tier has balance without the all timer. That's what that good tier feels like to me. Like if you look at 21, there's no all time angle. Batista Triple H is close, but there's no all time angle. It's all really good. 26, all really good. Nine, all really good. Like these are all very balanced cards without yeah. like an all time. Maybe Trump McMahon, maybe the closest to like an all time bill that we have on this yeah. on this tier. Yeah, I, I think I got it behind 21. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was leaning toward. Yeah. But some of this may dip. I mean, t 11 and 12 are perilously close to... Mm -hmm. A lot of this is close to sinking down here because we got we got some big ones. All right, let's go with one. Um, uh, there's not much to it besides the big three, right? So Austin Stud. I mean, Austin. <laughs> that'd be cool. Uh, Andre <laughs> Stud. <laughs> I'm a body right slave, you son. <laughs> <laughs> Give it that money. Um, I think the <laughs> the build to that's good with them cutting his hair and Andre chasing Bobby. Um, Can you imagine how much to be beer still cold would buy with the the, the what is ten thousand dollars or whatever? That, that Andre means, probably bought the same. <laughs> Andre probably bought the same amount. Um, so you get that right with the with the slam. I think that's really good. Uh, the Wendy, Wendy Richter, Richter is great, and then Hogan and T is great. So yeah. You got three great things in there, but the rest is is like not much going on. Like maybe I guess the Bruno thing, but you have no Tito Valentine in there to speak of. Like that should have been in there. The tag isn't really much of a build. So it's super top heavy. So it reminds me of probably like a 39 and a 10, to be honest with you. Like it's kind of got three great stuff. Um, I, I guess. It, I think I, mean, I got it right behind 10. No, I'm looking at it now. I think it's ahead of four. <laughs> like four's got the tournament. Right. Yeah. But one has Hogan and T and Piper. Like that's all the war to settle the score. Like all that shit. It is shit a lot is... closer to 15, I think. Cause... Well, so what it comes down to is I think 15 is Austin McMahon versus mm -hmm. like three great things that made yeah. WrestleMania happen. I'm looking at it. Ahead maybe of above... I think it's ahead of 15, but behind eight Is or uh, seven? behind seven. Seven's like a more, I think. It's just that one is. Yeah. Like, I like it there ahead of it. It's like a better version of 15 because 15 only has the one classic angle and one has three, but seven and eight have like that really crisp build. All right, let's do six. I think six is a weird one. Um, it is. You got the ultimate challenge, which is great. Mm -hmm. The three, then you got three P, and then Savage Dusty. And beyond that, there's not a ton else that's built. Yeah. Everything else is kind of just stuff. Roddy Piper doing half blackface. Oh, well, Jake DiBiase's well built as well, I guess. So it's mm -hmm. it's kind of got one great, and then like three backup. So it it kind of to me falls in this replacement level row. Twin Towers, that's a mad tag yeah. team breaking up. Yeah, it's eyeball replacement level. Um, so I think 40 is going to drop to the top of the meh. I think so. Six. So, all right, let's just work through it. So, ultimate challenge. How do you stack that versus Austin and Owens? Uh, it's better. Got it higher. Yeah. All right. What was the number one on 33? We said. It's kind of like I guess Ms. Cena or Festival or Orton C or Orton Bray, I guess. It's better yeah, than that. Yeah, I, I yeah, I got it higher than that. I got it higher than anything on 24. All right. So how about eleven and twelve? Does it is it because there's a lot of us stuff that's not built well, right? It's kind of got four things. Eleven and twelve, we said are like really balanced. Might be ahead of eleven. 
right, this is what we got to do. We got to do this. 32 is going to go down to the trash. I'm moving 31 to the, well, because none of the ones left are going to be Yeah. There. All right. <clears throat> so I think we need to start shifting some stuff down, actually. One, two, three. So we don't really have anything bad left. So I think we commit to 30 being here. That being meh. 25 moving down. And then I think 11 and 12 are going to replacement level, which I think is fine. Um, and then I think six is going to be the top of that. Unless you want to put it ahead of 23 or nine because of the, I think I've got, yeah, I think that carries more weight than both of those. Nine feels replacement level. The more I look at it, it feels really close to 12 and 11, like just all really good stuff, but nothing great. Yeah. Yeah. Is 23 at least has the battle of the billionaires. Okay. Yeah. I think 10's uh 10's the pivot point, but we got some all right, we got five big ones left. Let's do 19. Yeah. All right. All right, well we got Rock Austin three. Um short build, but good. A lot of the, the work had been done in bouts one and two for that. We got um, Hollywood Rock as well. Hollywood Rock. Um, Booker T winning the battle Royal again, that's on a shorter notice, but him versus triple H, the build is actually good because it's triple H saying that thing. And then Booker T proceeds to beat him up on TV for the next like two or three weeks. Right. Um, Jericho Sean, Jericho's and good. Sean is great. I mean, Vince Hogan's um, all time. Yeah, that's, that's great stuff. Um, Hardy and Ray was a fine enough build. Um Taker's a mess. Ta yeah, the Taker thing's a mess. The women's triple threat is built uh, is built pretty well. Yeah. Um and I mean Brock Angle's kind of a weird Brock Angle trail, yeah, but weird. they get there. Yeah, because they thought Angle wasn't going to be able to wrestle like the week before. Um all right, I think 10's gonna come down. Because I think it's gonna go to the great level. Um, I think. All right. So do you have it above 39? Does it have that all time? Because it's got Hogan Vince. So I think, I think Hogan Vince is yeah. close to Austin Vince probably. And I think yeah. nine has better stuff than 15. I mean, 19 has better stuff than 15. 19. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's leave it right there for a minute. Let's do 14. Taker Kane. I think the build is great. Um, Austin Michaels, it's as yeah. pretty, it, it Tyson, seems pretty, yeah, yeah, you got Tyson in there. It seems pretty basic, but it's good. Um, it's weird. A lot of that show is carried on Undertaker and Kane, like the, the build, I think. Well, the, the cactus and chainsaw, the dumpster um, angle, that's really good. And you get, Triple H Owen. I mean, there's this history there. Mm. Even Rock Shamrock is pretty well built. That's yeah, that's built. That's pretty good. It feels kind of similar um, to six, where it's got like that one all time. Um, the only thing is you could say it, it ends up being bigger than six, but again, that's they both crown a guy that they expected to be the next guy. Um so and they both kind of like an empty undercard after the top like four. Ahead of twenty three, but after six. No, I think it's better than. I think it's no. probably ahead of six. I, I think it's ahead of six. I think there's more. Okay. I think it means more. The other stuff means more than like the other stuff on six. Like Savage Dusty's really good. Um, but fourteen has like Taker Kane and Sean Austin, and six has. I don't think six has a number two as high as those. Okay. Do you say the same for 26? 26 is bothering me. I, I love 26, but I think it's going here. Because I don't it, – it's it's really more like it's almost replacement level to me because it's if you start looking, it's in that – it's like the top of the yeah, really good with no great. It's going to end up start, falling. Yeah. Well, no, I think this is it because I think our last three are probably our top three. So okay. I think 14 is – I think it's here. I think it's above 21 and 20 because I think it just means – I think it means more. Yeah. Okay. I think 26 ekes in. It's the best of the good, not great, which is kind of what our next year becomes for most of it. Yeah. 
All right. So here's what's left. We got three, we got five, and we got 17. So I kind of saved them. I think, I think, are there any that you think would be higher than these three just on your gut that you want to include in this discussion? I think eight is going to have a case. It's either going to be the top of great or in, in the almost goal, uh, almost goat category. Um, All right. So five and three are similar in that they have an all time mid event angle. All time. All right. Hogan Andre and Hogan Savage are all time classics. Um, but then you dive in a little bit and you look at like a 15, right? That also has an all time angle. Okay. So that's those three evil. Now, three has Savage Steamboat, which is also an all time angle. Beyond that, and, and Piper Adonis, right? So you kind of got it, it's similar to one, right? Like our conversation around one, it's kind of got three all time angles. I just think they're bigger than the one angles. Um, Seven has Hogan Slaughter, Warrior Savage, The Blindfold, DiBiase, Virgil. It's got a lot of high-level stuff, but are any of them all-timers? I don't think so, no. Okay, so I think three is above seven. I think three is above eight, because I think eight is similar to seven. And I'm almost talking myself into one being above those, only because I'm starting to look at this and want to really reward... Like, and maybe this goes against my original plan. Like, do you really want to reward the all time mm -hmm. versus the balance? I think seven and eight are tighter cards. Well, eight for sure is a tight card that's balanced. But the more I look at this top tier, it makes me want to say from grade on up should have the greatest storylines in WrestleMania history. And that's what matters. So to me, that's 39, the tournament, Austin McMahon, Austin, I mean, a Hogan Vince, WrestleMania 1. WrestleMania 3. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I think I may move 7 and 8 to the back of this level for now. Okay. And I could see an argument for 14 swapping with one of those. But no, no, never mind. Because it's 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 a moment, but it's not one of the best, most important, like the biggest builds of all time. Hogan Warrior is probably actually more on that level. But um, all right, um, I think right, so I, talked I think we can think? put I, I think we can put three. I think we can go ahead and put it in the almost goat, and we can see if it gets bumped up or gets bumped down. Um. Five, it does have the mega power stuff. I feel like a lot of the rest of the show is it's the X, it's like we're talking about one angle here. Um, but it's an all time, so this is where we're at, right? We're talking right. all time angle. It's the greatest, I think it's the greatest built WrestleMania match of all time. So I'm going to say that out of the gate. Like, okay, it's a year, a year plus because the mega powers really start at the end of '87. Um, both being in Trump Plaza. The rise, the fall, the jealousy of Elizabeth, like Hogan coming for the like, it's just nothing to me is ever told that well from mania to mania. Austin McMahon builds to that, but it's not as long. I guess that's probably the closest, honestly. I'm really talking myself at the 15 moving up because I think, I think five and 15 are very similar. The more I think about it, I think 15 would be higher if it was Hogan Vince. I mean, uh, Austin Vince and not Austin Rock, right? Mm -hmm. Because Austin Vince really starts at WrestleMania 14 as well, like the night after, pretty much. So, um, I think I'm moving 15 ahead of 19. All right. I think Hogan Vince is the lead. Ugh, this hurts. Um, <laughs> it hurts my head. I I think 15 is good where it's at. Yeah. I just think I, it's similar I, to five, though. So I'm the like. I, I don't want to like ding it because Vince is not like an active worker. Right. And it is Austin versus McMahon and like rock is McMahon's proxy, but rock is also like amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah right. Right. It's not much, like he's much of a step down. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So for five, what oh. else is on that card that has bills? It's got Andre and Jake. Mm hmm. Um, 
It's got Rude and Warrior. But that really only started it's, it's, in January. So it's solid, it's got, but I don't yeah. think it was the, their best stuff comes after over the yeah. summer. That's really the super pose down, and it's uh Rude getting a couple sneak attacks in on Warrior. Right. Um yeah, Andre and Jake uh with the heart attack. Um I don't uh demolition and uh powers yeah. of pain. That's survivor That's series third after Jake and Andre. Yeah, I don't see anything else. I'm looking. Um five makes it tough because again, I think it's I think it's so well built, but it's similar to three. It's just I think three has a better number two. Mm -hmm. Um so I think I'm okay yeah. to put five as almost here. All right, now let's talk 17. I saved it. Because I think we're a little diversion on it, right? I think it, I think when we talked this afternoon, you seem like this is your one. Um, but I, I want to talk about it, and I'm gonna, yeah, you know, I, I do want to wrap soonish because we're, we're pretty long here. But I, I want to just like look at this because I got Chad who's watching this stuff for like another project, telling me it's one of the worst built medias. You know, you forget how bad it was, how bad the build was, right? Is what he's been saying. Um, mm -hmm. So we got Jericho Regal. I, again, I think their better stuff might have been after. But it's a, it's a spot of it's a spot of P. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Oh, you might say the Intercontinental title deserves better, but it's Commissioner Regal. Like it, it's 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 fine. Fine. Taz and APA versus Right to Censor is nothing. That's thrown together. Yeah. Kane, Raven, Big Show, thrown together. That's a lot of Kane and Big Show, and Raven ends up interjecting himself because they're. I think they're both facing raven and like matches they end up like getting interference so sure if that's not another mania we're, we're <laughs> counting against it any test it's all right it's not not much there angle benoit their stuff comes later it feels almost like they threw them together because they had nothing else going on for them right that a lot of that one is about you know who who has the best submission hole tapping out uh he makes angle tap out angle never tapped out before um, but it was like, in a, but in after a that's a better stuff. It's where, match. It's where Benoit yeah. steals the medals. They do the ultimate submission. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's some build there. It's not like yeah. they just toss it together the week before. All right. China ivory. Fine. It's, you know, yeah. You know, the injury was terrible and the angle was well, not well done at all with the neck. I mean, they do the Owen voice and all that shit. Not great. Um, TLC two, I think is well built because I, I do yes. love the spike in Rhino debuting and um, it, it's almost like a nice story of um, if you look at the year long edge, Christian Hardy's deadly story, starting at WrestleMania 2000 ending here. I think it's a nice synopsis. So mm -hmm. good. Taker triple H has not much. They throw it together last minute, right? Taker. What is he? Triple H beats him down with a sledgehammer. I don't even know. He hit, hit the bike. I think beat up the bicycle, yeah. the motorcycle. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, because Triple H talks about how he's beaten everybody. He's beaten Austin, who's in the main event. He's beaten Rock, who's also in the main event. And he's kind of the odd man out, as we've discovered on a lot of war right. seasons. Is Taker, is um, this when he's, does he hold Stephanie over the railing? Or Kane does, right? Kane does, yeah. And this is where it's supposed to be Shawn Michaels, but, you know, he's with his demons at the time. So. Well, it was supposed to be Taker and Kane against the Islanders. Yeah. That gets scrapped. Yeah. And then Austin Rock, I think right, it's low so, key, low key not great. It's a low key not great. No, like okay, no, they do nothing until I, that sit down, and that's two weeks before Mania. You have Deborah as the Rock's manager, which is fucking stupid. Uh, Austin loses at No Way Out, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. I know they're setting up Triple H for later, but whatever. You have, um, it's all told through the My Way music video, which which is amazing, but it's like the week before, and then Austin with going with Vince. I know it's that's the night, but there's no build to that besides him just saying, I want the belt. Like, and again, that promo is amazing. But beyond that, like to me, this is not a ton there. Okay. To the mega powers, they do a lot in the previous mm. year. All the storytelling for Austin Rock had been done. WrestleMania 15 and then Austin with the neck injury and then coming back and rock is at the, t the top of the hill. When Austin comes back, there wasn't a whole lot they had to do. A lot of the storytelling had been done over the, the previous two <clears throat> years. By the time they do all the sports entertainment stuff, yes, the stuff with Deborah, but then they strip it down 
in that go home week and they say, forget about Deborah, forget about Kurt Angle, forget about everything else. It's the two best guys at their peak going at it for the title. I think it's, it is the best main event matchup of getting two guys at their peak that they've ever done. I don't think you will ever find two guys at the top yeah. of their game at the same time in the same place. I think my only out a dome. I, my I, only I, contention, I put a lot of weight into that. I think it's the best main event they've done. My only contention with like retconning the rock Austin 15, like Hogan Savage was done the year before, but it was specifically built from that moment to go all the way to the next year's mania. And I think mm -hmm. besides rock Cena, from 27 to 28. I think it's the only time they ever set in stone. Austin McMahon, maybe, but I don't think they knew yet where they were going with that. I, I don't think they knew at, on April, whatever, 1998, that they were marching toward Austin Rock with Vince. And his, like, I don't think that at all. So sure. um, I, I would say that to me, Hogan Savage is the only one where they said on April, whatever, you know, or March, whatever the fuck WrestleMania 4 was, that a year from today in this building, we are having this match and we're going to plug the whole year to that moment. So like, I don't, I don't think Austin rock, I'll give them some credit for having a built in story, but I don't think there's enough of it to me to say at WrestleMania 15, they were thinking in two years, we're going to crest with rock being the guy and Austin coming from like, I just don't, I don't think that was in, even in their thought at that point. Like, so I'll give them some credit. I guess my but argument also is weren't expecting Austin to miss a year with the neck injury. Sure. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it all, it all changed. Like it's not, it, it's a rich man's 13. Like, like they ended up in it with an all timer, but they kind of back, you know, asked backwards their way into it three weeks before to make it an all timer. Like you could argue Austin triple H should have been the match at Mania. Like that was like a hotter angle. Mm -hmm. Like that should, three stages of hell could have been the WrestleMania match. I don't know. I, I think in that case it's it's closer to fifteen. Yes, yes. If, I'm not I'm not advocating wanna, going lower. Yeah. I, I, I just I think, think it's a I think it's a better version of fifteen. It's probably not as good of a build as one with the three matches that knock it out of the park. So and we have the WrestleMania three ranked above the mega powers. Well, not yet. Let's talk about it. So okay. I'm not committed to that. I want to get this under two hours. So we got eight minutes. Uh so <laughs> listen, I, I think I think 17, I'm okay with it there. Even though I do think the rest of the card is a little weak. 15 is similar to your point, right? So that's fine. I think 19 is the highest of all the most balanced. So it's, I think, and you have an all-timer on top of it with Hogan Vince. So I think that's like the weakest of the all-timers, but it's also the most balanced underneath. Four, all-time angle, not much else cooking. I could, I could entertain a conversation that we're not going to have time for to put 39 above four. I don't care that much either way. Um, eight and seven, I think, are the end of great because this is awesome stuff, but there's no like legendary angle in there. There's like well fondly remembered angles, right? Um it's the best of the very good stuff. Right. And then following that on the heels of that is is you know, ten and I think fourteen, maybe I think I'd put fourteen above ten, probably. I think those angles okay. meant more. Uh and then you kind of get into these, right? You could maybe argue six should be up here about 21 and 20. Would you be all right with that? I think the ultimate challenge yeah. is the biggest mm -hmm. of those. I mean, you could argue six maybe should be up here, but I'm all right with it there. Uh, 26 is kind of the end of the good because that's like the best of the next level. Like we kind of have a zigzag going on. These replacement levels are all kind of well balanced with multiple stuff. You know, then the May, you kind of get to like, all right, there's like one really great thing and the rest is really shaky. But then the trash, we talk about trash. Are you good with 31 below 18 for the worst? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 29, 27. You're right with those above 31. Yep. Okay. All right. 16 is our worst built. Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's crazy how bad 16 is in such a big time. And it's the biggest year. So All hot. right. Somebody is so hot. So I think this is an indictment, right? You think Steve Bennett booked this list, but I mean, look, we got one, five, and three are like still the best, you know? Um, all right. So what do you val value most of these three? Like one has the three matches that built the promotion. Three has probably the biggest match in the company's history with, with Austin, uh, with <laughs> keep on to put Austin, these classic feuds, Hogan and Andre. 
Um, and it has a great number two in Savage Steamboat. Not much else after that as far as build goes. Maybe Jake and Honky a little bit, but but not, not a ton. Uh, and Piper Donis, Piper Donis, uh, which is crazy. Yeah. I'm thinking three is probably the go on this one. Um, Me too. Yeah, I hate to do it because I hate, I like to fuck with the people that love three. But I think in this case, it's when you look at Hogan Andre, they sold 93,000. Savage Steamboat's a great build. Not as great of a match as everyone makes it out to be. A great build. And Piper Adonis is a great build. Five really only has the one iconic storyline. Below it, you got Jake Andre, which is very solid. And the Powers of Me Demolition, which is solid. So it's like a, a step down from three. Where do you have one versus five? Um, I like the strength of the mega powers more than I do the, the powers of the three matches at yeah. one. Okay. Do you want to fight me one more time with our couple minutes left on 17 versus one? Or are you comfortable? Uh, no, I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. Okay. I'll tell you coming in, I knew I was going to sandbag 17 a bit. I did not expect one to be our top three. Uh, honestly, I did not. I did not really see that coming. I didn't either because I always feel like one is a show that like gets a shaft and it always ends up like replacement level good. Um but yeah, it's it's a it's, it's I a guess I guess it's a benefit they didn't have a lot of TV, or at least like not right. a lot of TV that we consider to be part of the canon TV to really right. like mess up any of the build. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I think 39 is kind of shows you like how these manias of recent years have been built. Like if you look at 39, then there's not another one all the way down to 38 at the end of replacement level of like recent times. So yeah, I mean 39 is really right. great. I think it's a really great mania. And what helps is they get two matches out of what's really one story. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This looks good. I mean, I, I think if we had more even more time, we could nitpick a bit <laughs> on some of these. I think eleven and twelve and nine like performed well. Like I, I think they hung on as long as they could. Yeah. In the good category. Um Way to go, nine! Well, I'm proud of you. <laughs> proud of yeah. you, nine. Well, I People think the term to, replacement level. The when we look at war replacement level, those three kind of hit it right. They're all very good. Nothing great. Mm -hmm. Perfectly executed wrestling pay per view build. Like I think when you kind of look at it, that that's what those are. I think 25 seems a little low. I think 22 gets dragged down by the Ray stuff. You know, I could maybe make a case for two to move up, but again. We've been going for a while, so we could probably leave it here, I guess. But all right, very good. All right, that'll do it. Be sure to check out everything North South Connection. We got so much WrestleMania content, as you're seeing here. We're not going to read through it, but I'll leave it on the screen for the end here so you can see it. We got so much going on. Uh, Ryan Gray and I are counting down every WrestleMania match ever from four or two to one in short form. Those are a minute or less on TikTok and YouTube shorts. Uh, WrestleMania 13 was recently a Wrestling War Zone. Marcus, we're getting toward uh, another WrestleMania 22 on War. Uh, we've had multiple tier lists. Aaron and I doing uh tier list based on wrestlemania theme vibe you and i did the tier list about rewatchability this tier list uh ryan is counting down the greatest wrestlemania performers of all time with all different guests we're doing the top 40 of all time and of course we'll have our preview videos leading into this year's show as well so check all that out subscribe don't miss a thing uh we're gonna go ahead and i guess we'll close a little wrestlemania for us since that WWF, what the world is watching.